Welcome to Statler and Waldorf from the balcony on Movies.com. I'm Statler. And I'm Waldorf. You know, doing this show, we get a lot of perks. Oh, it's true. Gifts, dinners, parties, trips to Europe. Mm. Try to get us to say something nice about their film, movie studios will do anything. Yeah, anything but make a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on this episode, we're previewing Elizabeth Town. Dr. Teeth stops by to talk about Shop Girl. And we can't forget about today's... Balkanism. Balkanism. But we're starting with the new video game turned action movie, Doom. You know, Doom isn't just the title of this movie. Mm -hmm. It's also the overwhelming feeling you get while watching the trailer. Yeah, take a look. Why? Just take a look. At a distant research facility, all hell has broken loose. Special Ops clearance verified. Handle ID. Reaper. Handle ID. Duke. Say my name, baby. Handle ID. Destroyer. Handle ID. The Kid. The Kid? Handle ID. Sarge. I know what your handle ID would be. Nose hair. <laughs> Boo! Now, how come no one ever made Pong into a movie? Now, that was a video game. Mm. You know, I think I'd like this movie a lot better if I could just tell The Rock apart from Vin Diesel. Yes, I usually love action movies, but there's something that just doesn't look good about Doom. Mm, I know what you mean. I just can't quite put my finger on it. And if you did put your finger on it, you'd need about four gallons of Purell to disinfect it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's rate this film on the talk show host scale. Yes, Johnny Carson being the best, Chevy Chase being the worst. I'd give Doom about, um, Pat Sajak. Hmm, I think Sajak is perfect. The only time you watch him is when he's giving away money. Well, they should try that with Doom. <laughs> <laughs> also out this week is the new Steve Martin movie, Shop Girl. Yeah, the film's love triangle inspired Dr. Teeth and Animal to record this. Ah. <gasps> no, no. Soft symbol, Animal. Right. Soft symbol. Soft symbol. Ah, ah. greetings and grooving salutations. <laughs> I'm Dr. Teeth. Here with Animal. Hi. Just working on our latest collaboration. It's a romantical ballad inspired by Steve Martin's upcoming movie, Shop Girl. Shop Girl! Shop Girl! Ah! Now, in this cinematic offering, our protagonist, Claire Danes, is caught in a classic love triangle. No, no. Not that kind of triangle, Animal. Mm. Well, as I was saying, it's about a woman torn between two lovers of disproportionate financial achievement. Ah. Now, in the movie, the choice is easy. You take the match with the scratch. <laughs> Not the broke gun kept doofus. Doofus! Doofus! Ah. But in real life, it's a little more problematic like. Mm. For you see, the triangle is a symbol. <coughs> a symbol of a love that has ensnared you. There, ah. And beaten you down like an old drum. Beat drum. You start to agonize. You're torn. You can't sleep. You can't eat. Ah. But you gotta choose, for you owe it to your prospective suitors. And no matter what happens, you've got to break the triangle before it breaks you. Ah. 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 Oh no. Soft symbol, animal. Soft symbol. Ah, now that is a sweet sound. <laughs> well, that was weird. Thanks. Uh, the next film on the agenda is Cameron Crowe's Elizabeth Town, starring Kirsten Dunst and Orlando Bloom. Ah, yet another movie that drags us into the comedically romantic world of funerals. Hmm. Drew, it's your sister. I have some really bad news. I'll bring him home. Louisville, Kentucky, huh? Home misses her family. My dad. He's okay, right? He's... This is your life. Let's do something interesting with it. Dad, we should have taken this trip years ago. Right home. Elizabeth Town looks like one of those emotional movies that makes you want to call your dad afterward. Yeah, 
and tell them not to go see it. <laughs> <laughs> Director Cameron Crowe always makes these lyrical, thoughtful movies. Well, there's a name for that genre. Nap time. <laughs> well, on the talk show host scale, this movie is like a Jay Leno. Earnest, a lot of heart, and not remotely entertaining. Yeah, well, I'd give Elizabeth Town more of an Arsenio. It does a heck of a lot with minimal talent. Speaking of which, it's time for today's... Balkanism. Balkanism. Today's Balkanism is con Mm-hmm. This is when the studio puts out a misleading trailer that cons you into the theater, like with the exorcism of Emily Rose. It looked like a horror movie, but it's really a courtroom drama. Mm. You know, the same thing happened when I saw the divine secrets of the Yaya sisterhood. Mm. Too much sisterhood. Not enough Yaya's. <laughs> oh, you got that right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, well, next week we'll be previewing... The Legend of Zorro. An Antonio Banderas movie. Mm. So come on back if you want to see us both leap from this balcony. Why wait? Huh? I'm going. Mm. I'm going too. Mm. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, something's caught here. Oh, my leg. Oh, it's on my spleen. I'm sort of. Ouch. Uh, oh, okay, now uh, I'm in pain. Nurse. Now I'm in pain. Help me over. No. Well, well where's my hip? See you next time. There goes the hip. Uh, what? Ow! Ow! Medic? Ow! Uh, ow! Uh, you okay? Ow! Whoa, whoa.